Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Outdoor Pursuer. Today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a different video than I normally do. I'm going to be doing, be doing an unboxing of a camera that I purchased. I uh, went ahead and purchased this camera last year, uh, 2019, on Black Friday. Uh, so, let's go ahead and get into the unboxing. Alright, so like I said, I went ahead and purchased this camera. It is the Canon Rebel uh, T7i. Uh, it includes two different len lenses. Uh, it goes from 18 to 55 mill millimeter and a 55 to 250 millimeter. Uh, includes the bag, an SD card, the camera itself. Let's go ahead and open her up. There we go. SD card. That's 32 gigabytes. Not terrible. First lens is the 55 to the 250. So here in a second, once I replace these cameras, uh, I'll go ahead and show the cameras that I've been using, uh, and we can compare shots, show the difference between the camera that I've been using and then this new camera. I've actually been using two different cameras uh, for the last three years on all these videos that you guys have been seeing. So, camera number one 
is going to be this Sanyo. I don't know if it's focusing on my face, and I would rather... There it goes. Okay. I knew it could focus, and it's still trying to focus on my face. But either way, there you go. You got the Sanyo. Um, so this, this camera is a fair amount of what you guys have been seeing uh, my videos come from so far. Uh, I got this camera quite a while back. It was potentially my junior year of high school, so uh, it's 2020 now, graduated in 2012. It's been eight years now, or longer than that actually. It's been probably close to 10 years in that case since I've had that, so I had that. I don't remember the exact reason why I got that camera. I do know that I've used it in my junior year when I went to Florida one year. Um, I've used it a couple other times that we've that I've gone on vacations, such as that. Um, so I know I've had that camera for quite a while. Now, uh, the next camera is actually this GoPro, the Hero Three Plus. Um, this happened my third year in college, um, so at the time of this video when I'm making this and recording it, we're up to the Hero 8, I believe, is the newest model that they have, so this GoPro is actually rather out of date too for the videos that I've been making. Um, so. That actually happened by mistake. I somehow I ruined my, my cell phone. Anyway, so I went I went to the store to get a replacement phone, and uh, I didn't really understand the contract that I signed when I did it. And basically, it gave me the new cell phone and three hundred dollars in store credit. Um, so I used that three hundred dollars to get the GoPro because I didn't know what else I would spend it on. I didn't really need cell phone accessories or anything else like that. I just needed the cell phone. So I used it on to get the GoPro and that's how I acquired that. So yeah, that is the gist of what you guys have been seeing uh, my videos come from. And now I'll still be using these as backup cameras and to get other angles and such, but for the most part, uh, I'll be using the Canon unless I do videos that would require things underwater, so the GoPro would come in there. It's an action camera, so it would actually be better in terms of some other things. So that's one thing I would like to get. Uh, I would like to invest eventually into an updated GoPro, but that is a long shot. I it's gonna take a while before I can can get the next model of the GoPro, and by then, who knows what model will be on. So, <laughs> to eventually invest in a microphone as well, because I have no clue how well this audio is. I don't know how well the audio would be while I'm out and about doing things. Um, so, so I hope that helps explain where the content's been coming from. Um, the videos uh, I kind of just come up with as they go. Um, I'll definitely continue the uh, whitetail seasons, the, those, um, but you know, those are going to be yearly videos. I am into hunting, but I'm not um, very diverse, I guess is the word that I'm searching for there. So I would like to start getting into more. Um, you know, I considered trying to, uh, duck hunt this year, but I wouldn't even know where to begin. I've been told that the best way to do that is to go with someone so you can learn the ins and outs. And I don't really know anybody that duck hunts, so that's going to be a challenge. Um, I've looked into hunting squirrel and rabbit, and I've gone hunting for squirrel before, but this is well before I even thought about opening up a YouTube channel and sharing a lot of things there. Um, 
never really gone on rabbit hunting, but I know where my parents are and I'm sure where I hunted this past year. There are plenty of rabbits there. Uh, the only thing is, is that I don't want to disturb the hunting ground for whitetail. I don't want to spend all year out there and scaring off the deer, keeping them away from that area. I know that's might be far-fetched logic, but that's how I see it anyways. So I would rather keep those grounds open for deer because I know that deer are there. And I know that they come and go. So, um, especially with, wait for that to focus, especially with um, the property that I hunt on being so close to Ohio that they could just easily run over there and, well, I'm kind of SOL for that season. I'm sure as most of you have already discovered, if you've watched other my other videos, I am new to videography, I am new to photography, although I've been taking pictures all my life, um, I just, I don't, I don't really no techniques, you know, um, and I am new to this whole editing thing. I, I got editing software two years ago and I've been using that rather than using the YouTube presets and, um, and I've got this whole new camera <laughs> to learn, so, but I'm excited to see what I can do and I am learning over the years, I'm learning every day new things so um, if anybody's got advice on photography, videography, editing, etc. Um, I would love to hear it and uh, if you've got any advice on what type of videos you would like to see um, I'd like to hear that too. Uh, if you just want to comment and say what you would like to see next I'd like that. If you have comments on anything in general, I'd love to hear it. I like to. I don't. I haven't really received a whole lot of feedback on my video so far, but it's definitely appreciated because I, be honest, I don't know what I'm doing. So, so I do have um, some video ideas coming up, but I don't want to share those right now. I'd like to keep those a surprise for everybody. Um, again, if you've got suggestions leave those down below. I know this is a new type of video to my channel. I probably won't do these often because I don't really get a whole lot of new equipment or um, etc. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, uh, leave, make sure you smash that like button. Don't forget to su subscribe so you can see uh, the other videos and hit the notification bell so you can get notified when new videos come out. Thanks for watching. See you outdoors.